This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Shabbat Shalom everyone. We're ready for the parasha short and sweet. And that is, we see, quick question. If you were the Meragli, if you were the Meragli, if you went in there, then you're looking at Israel and you're coming back with a report. See the giants. Were they giants, yes or no? Were they giants, yes or no? There were giants there. So what did they say that wasn't so profound? There were giants, and they came back. You want them to lie and say there was no giants? Is there big, is there big people there? No, there is. So what is the, what we should say is, what is it about their statement that's not a hundred. That 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 wasn't so profound. Okay. So we see the pasuk peregim yud gimel pasuk lamid gimel. It says like this: V'sham ra'inu netefilim bene anak. We saw these giants, right? V'vina netefilim v'ni ye v'ni beinenu kahagavim. We were like grasshoppers. V'chen ra'inu beinen like grasshoppers. So that's what they say. Is it true or is it not true? If it's true, so why, why punish them? If it's not, if it's not, if it's not, if it's not true, so why? If it's true, so why punishing them? If it's not true, so I understand it's not true, but it's true. So what's we have to understand this? The explanation is like this. The explanation is we see when David and Melech went to fight Goliath. David and Goliath, there was a fight between David and Goliath. What, is, what, what does he say? Goliath is in his armors and his this and his that. And he see uh, David and Goliath coming with a slingshot. And Goliath is laughing at him. What are you doing? Who are you? What are you doing? What does David say to him? <laughs> David says, I'm coming with Hashem's name. And when I'm coming with Hashem's name, no matter how great you are, you can't do nothing. So I'll explain. I'll read the Pasuk. Right? David tells, you know, Goliath, You're coming with a sword. And I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you, God's name. David believed in it so strongly that Hashem is the all-powerful. And, and this is what's needed right at this point. So if this is needed, Hashem says, Hashem, David says, Hashem, you're going to for sure be on my side. It's needed right now. I'm making it happen no matter what. No matter how big the, the issue is, it'll happen. Why? Because I'm coming with you in Hashem's name. And there's nothing greater than Hashem. And therefore, he knows for sure, with full confidence, he's going to be David. David is going to be Goliath. I'm sorry. David is going to be Goliath. Right? So therefore, now we know that, now we can understand what the Meraglim should have said. The Meraglim shouldn't have been afraid at all of the giants. The way it should have been is, why, 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 why are you being afraid? Why are you saying, well, like, where's up? Because why if they add that in? Well, like, where's up? Is just say, even though they're giants, but it doesn't make a difference. Because we'll defeat them. We're going when Hashem's there. You understand? You understand what's going on over here? This is what's going on over here. We're coming with Hashem's name. Since we're coming with Hashem's name, no matter how big they are, we don't care. What'd you say? Oh, by the way, uh, the giants are like glorious office. No, no, no. Why, why are you adding that in? Don't add that in. What is what we're looking for upon that? No, no, no. It's, we're much greater. They, are they big? Are they strong? Are they giants? They're giants. So, and we're like glorious office compared to them. No. They're giants. But even if we're like great stuff, it doesn't make a difference. Who cares if they're giants? They have a shame on our side. And that's, that's what we have to know. And you know, every day in Baruch Shamad, we start off, you know, one of the things, you know, Why is that so important? Why is that so important prayer? Baruch she'amar ve'ayah Right? What are we saying? We're about to start prayers. And you have to know who he's standing in front of. He's standing in front of Hashem. Baruch she'amar ve'ayah He created, he said one word, the whole world was created. 
Malach she'amad ve'ayyeh ha'olam. He says, I want all these... Look around the tree. How'd it come? Hashem says, I want a tree there. Boom. <laughs> Imagine you say, oh, I want, I want the whole world to exist. Boom. <laughs> I want this. Boom. Two seconds. So when you see the power of Hashem, so therefore there's nothing greater, and therefore whatever you're praying for, don't, don't, don't ever think that it's too small for Hashem. It's, nothing's too small for Hashem. Because He's thinking He's, he's in charge of everything. Hashem, Hashem. That's what we're doing. And that is... We're, 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 we're ca- ca- uh, catching over here. That the way you were saying, now of course they're not going to lie. Of course they're going to say the truth. Of course they're going to say it's uh, Anakim and they're giants. But we're not scared. Because we have to add in. We have Shem Hashem with us. We have God with us. And I want to conclude with this. I saw something amazing. So, you know, some people tell, tell you know, come over. Rabbi, I have the biggest problem. I have the greatest problem. Don't tell me how great your problem is. Tell your problem how great God is. Hear that? Let that sink in. Don't say how great your problems are. My problems are. Don't say how great my problems are. Say to your problems how great God is. When you do that, there's no problem. And that's what we're saying over here by the Megami. They're the giants, great! Who cares? We have a ship. When you know that, then you know you have a ship on your side, you could conquer the world. Shabbat Shalom. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.